Hello everyone. Um, welcome to uh, Powertronics. And um, this will be this lecture will be introduction to Powertronics. And this is the textbook that you guys uh, will be uh, using in this um, in this class. So make sure you have this Powertronics by heart. And uh, this is the notes. This is my uh, my own notes. I will upload it for you in uh, Blackboard. Uh, make sure you have a copy of this and make sure you follow this. So you need to follow the textbook. Normally I will give you the pages that you need to follow. And the notes, this is my own notes. So you don't have to write notes unless you want to practice for uh, drawing waves and uh, so on. And uh, this one here is for the lab. This is the notes or the manual for the lab. So just to let you know, I assume you guys know how to, you know, uh, or already, already have it because, which is, this is the lab right here. This is Parotronics Practical, which is E203. Okay. Okay, let's, uh, Let's define define power electronics. So, what is power electronics? What is power electronics? It says it involves the study of electronic circuits intended to control the flow of electrical energy. These circuits can handle power flow at level much higher than the individual device rating. You guys took electronics, which is last semester. And you work with um, rectifier, and um, so you work with diode, and you work with transistor. It will be the same concept, but power electronics, the devices of power electronics, diode, we call it power diode. So when we say power diode, it means that the diode we are using can handle a huge amount of voltage and current. So it means that those devices can handle a huge amount of voltage and current. Same thing with the transistor, you use a transistor, but the transistor will be using either a IGBT or, a, but in general, the transistor that we will be using in this course are power transistors, means they can handle a huge amount of voltage and current. In electronics, you are talking about five volts. Here, means or you're talking about 120 volt 220 volt and we can work with much higher uh, voltages and currents uh, what's the power electronic circuit power electronic circuit it converts electrical power from one form I want you to put this there in, you know, underline this uh, word right here to com it converts electric power from one form to another using electronic device. So we will convert from one form to another form. You have done this also in electronics. You convert from AC into DC, and we call it rectifier. Uh, you use a diode, and I think you still remember the half wave and the full wave. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna repeat the same idea, but with more details and also we'll uh, go deep into the three phase, the single phase, that's three phase half wave and full wave. What is a converter? We call it converter that when we, when we change, when we convert from one form, which is AC form, let's say, into DC form, we call it converter. So what's converter? Converter is a power electronic circuit that converts one type or level of a voltage or current waveform to another. So we convert one type of waveform to another, we call it converter, okay? So this is the chart for converter. We have, this is a converter right here. The converters that we will, will, will work with in power electronic cores are AC into AC. This is, we'll, ju we'll just cover the definition of this, AC into AC. It's either a regulator or a cyclone converter. 
but we'll spend a lot of time right here, which is converting AC into DC. Converting AC into DC and we call it rectifier. You work with this, you would do the rectification in electronics, but we're gonna do, do this in the power electronics and we're gonna work with uh, single phase half wave, uncontrolled. And then we will work with single phase uh, full wave, also uncontrolled. And then we're gonna work with three phase half wave, uncontrolled. And then here, we're gonna work with three phase full wave, uncontrolled. So we're done with uncontrolled. When we work with uncontrolled, we will be using power die. We still here. We're gonna work with single phase, half wave control, then single phase, full wave controlled, then three phase, half wave control, then three phase, full wave control, and we will be using thyristor. So power diode, and thyristor are the same, except that this is on controlled and this is controlled. If this is the if this is the, the simple for the power diode, the simple for the for the thyristor will be like this with a gate gate. And then we have a we have a family actually we have we have the CR that we are talking about the SCR here and also we have ghetto we have diac and we have a tria we have a family we have different types and I, I ask you to uh, look in uh, some pages for uh, explanation of those. So here let me repeat so we're gonna spend a lot of time right here approximately from the beginning of the course till the midterm. Here we have almost uh, eight topics. First, we're going to cover the uncontrolled using power diode, single phase, and we will have three topics in single phase, which is half wave, and then we will have full wave that's uncontrolled, and then we will have an issue, we will fix it with something called free wheeling, and then we will jump to three phase half wave and three phase full wave uncontrolled. After that, We'll use a tires to, to control the wave and we will repeat the same stuff that we have done in power diode. Then we're done with this. We're gonna come to this. Uh, actually, we're gonna cover this before this, which is the DC to DC chopper. DC to DC chopper, actually we convert DC voltage fixed into DC voltage variable. So I have here 100 volt. I can vary this either up or down. We call it chopper. Here we are using the transistor. We are using the MOSFET transistor right here. Okay, so here we have DC into DC and we have two types, either step up, which is boost, or step down, which is buck. This one right here, is similar to transformer and AC machines, but this is for DC. So this one here is step up and step down the DC voltage. We'll spend maybe two to three weeks right here. And then we will uh, take the last topic or the last converter, which is DC into AC. And we call it inverter because we go back. Initially, initially we generate AC. When we generate, we generate AC voltage. Uh, in all cases, except in one case, which is solar. Solar, no. Solar, we generate DC. So if we have a solar input, the generation will be DC. In this case, you want to, you want the output to be AC, so you need to invert from DC into AC and we call it invert. Let's say you go to the desert and you want to watch something and it works with AC and you only have the car battery, in this case, the car battery is DC. So you connect 
inverter between the car battery and your device and your device will work if it's an AC. That's what we will be covering in, uh, in power electronics. That's power electronics. That's what we will be covering the whole term. As I told you, we use the power diode, and we use diode and electronics. We're gonna use something called power diode because it can handle a huge amount of voltage and current. Use transistor. I think we use BJT in electronics. We're gonna use maybe the three. Mostly we're gonna use a MOSFET. And we call it transistor, but we call it power transistor actually. This one here you did not use, which is a control. This is something new to you. So thyristor is same as power diode, but it's control. Exactly the similar one to this is the SCR. This is the SCR, the one that I draw for you. It's similar to power diode, but it's control. Those get to diatriac, I will tell you what exactly they are because they have uh, different attributes and even different symbols. Symbols. So look at the symbols of page eight. Well, the uh, we call them, we call them static, static switches or electronic switches. And actually they're known by, you know, uh, two states, either on or off. On means uh, uh, short circuit, means the current can flow. Off means open circuit to the current can let flow. Okay, so um, that's uh, I think introduction for the power electronics. And uh, let's see here. In uh, in your textbook, guys, please I want you to uh, to look at uh, page. Uh, page five into uh, page 12. Take a look at page six into 12, your textbook. Okay, same thing, look at page and your notes for those topics. You need to look at page four to six. Four to six notes, notes. Okay, so for those, just look at the notes. Okay, so those are the. This is here, which is power electronics. This is a good definition. This is here, page six. It explains the diode. It talks about the diode, and then it talks about the thyristor and talks about the, the different types, the SCR, the ghetto, the triad, and also to give you the samples in page eight. Here it shows, for example, the ghetto. The ghetto, actually, it opens with positive and negative, okay? So it says here, if I read you, if I read the ghetto for you, uh, it says here, uh, Where is the ghetto? Yeah, ghetto is right here. Okay. Uh, it says uh, the, the gate turn off thyristor, which is the ghetto, and the mouse here, and then it says um, uh, like the SCR. The ghetto is like the SCR. The SCR, we said that this is the SCR same as the power diode, but it's controlled, so nothing is different, it's, it has an extra gate. The ghetto, uh, it turns on by a short duration gate, current if the anode to cathode voltage is positive. However, unlike a CR, the ghetto can be turned off with a negative gate. So, uh, ghetto is another family uh, of the, or uh, another type of thyristors, which turns, on with the positive flow and it turns off with the negative that's ghetto okay and then we have another, we have mct mct we, uh, we we insert a controller to it and that's the different one and then the tiriac if you look at the tiriac guys tiriac it has both ways we have actually we embedded 
two power diodes in two different directions. So the flow will be in both directions. Okay, please look at uh, those and read. Uh, you will find those in page exactly in page seven and eight for the thyristors. So look deeply because um, expect definition of those, expect definition of those case, of this, of this, of this. I'm saying in, in the quizzes or in midterm or in final. Expect the definition of all those. Also expect to be asked to draw the samples for the BJT, IGBT, MOSFET, or for the SCR, Ghetto, Triac, and so on. So make sure you uh, know how to, to draw the samples. Also your notes, those are the, this is the page four, I think it's clear, neat. And same thing right here, you can look at it, okay? Uh, I want to explain one more point for you guys. Uh, which is the triggering angle okay so I'll, I'll, I'll just put this as introduction and I will upload it for you and uh, make sure you uh, you follow the blackboard and um, in um, uh, our lecture time is um, uh, at 10 o'clock every Tuesday. We'll start meeting there if you have any questions, but I will make the lectures for you like this, and I will upload it for you. And uh, also, I uh, uh, I create a Telegram channel, so I send the link to you in the Blackboard. Make sure you, uh, you join that channel for if you have any question or any discussion.